Hi everyone, I'm Simon and I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Hive. <coughs> Hive is an embedded uh, database for Flutter apps. It has great performance, which is important for Flutter apps because they run on a single thread mostly and you don't want to block that thread. Hive is entirely written in Dart, which not only keeps your app size small, but also allows you to run it on all the platforms supported by Flutter, including desktop and web. Also, Hive is uh, encrypted, if you like, and just in a few lines of code, you can encrypt your database. So I'm now going to show you how to use Hive. The first step is, of course, to add it to your pub spec. You've probably seen this before if you use Flutter. Now, Hive needs a directory where it can store its data. And I recommend to use the path provider from the Dart team so you always get a valid path. Now we can open a box. Boxes are like containers where you can put your data. And you can compare them to SQLite tables. Our box is called user info. So we already opened the user info box, so we can just call hive.box to get it, to get an instance of it. And now we have our user, he's called Dave, and we want to store some information about him, like his age and the names of his friends. This is immediately persisted to the disk, so um, you can get it at any time, and even if Dave closes the app or if Android kills the app, for example, your data will still be there. Now we can take a look at how Flutter and Hive work together. And we want to build a settings page where the user can enable dark mode, for example. Um, the first th thing we need is a <coughs> settings page widget, which is stateless. And we want this widget to refresh based on the contents of a box. And Hive provides a widget called Watch Box Builder. And each time the content of your box changes, for example, if you add some, something, um, the Watch Box Builder will refresh your UI. It needs two things. First, a box. Our box is called Settings. <coughs> and a widget builder. You've probably seen this before at uh, the Future Builder or uh, Stream Builder. So we want a switch where the user can enable and disable dark mode. You'll see it on the right. And um, each time the user flips the switch, Flutter calls the onChange method. And we put the new setting state to Hive. So if the user flips the switch, the app changes from dark to light mode, and vice versa. So you can. Now, um, you probably not only want to store primitive types, but also objects. And Hive provides type adapters for that. So let's say we have a person class with three fields, uh, name, age, and friends. And Hive needs to know the structure of the person class in order to store it. So we annotate the class with Hive type and the fields with Hive field. And as you can see, each field has a unique ID. Uh, if you've used protobuf before, for example, you might recognize this. And uh, it allows us to change, add, or delete fields uh, without migrating our database. OK, so we just need to generate the adapter now. So run the build command. And Hive will generate a, class, uh, a file called person.g.dart which contains uh, an adapter called a person adapter. And we just need to register this adapter with a unique ID to get started. Now we have our user info box again. And this time we create <coughs> an object and put all the information from Dave inside that object. And just like before, we can just uh, put this object into Hive by calling put and get it back 
by calling get. Now, one thing that is really convenient uh, with databases are queries. Hive does not have queries at the moment, but I am working on it. And just a few unit tests are missing, so I am going to show you how it will work. Our user box again. <clears throat> and to start a query, just call query. And in this case, we want to find persons. Our box may contain other data, like integers or something else. And we want to find persons. So we want to find all persons younger than 30. And we don't want to find persons which have a friend called Maria. So to sort the results, just call order by. And in this case, we want to sort them by name, alphabetical, in ascending order. To get a list of results, just call the find method, and you're there. Now, if you build your UI based on these results, you want it to refresh automatically. And just set auto-updating to true, and Hive will provide you with a stream of changing results. I hope you find Hive helpful in your project, and thanks for listening. In the repository, you can find documentation, samples, a web demo even, and a benchmark against uh, SQLite and against uh, shared prefs. Thanks. Oh, uh, has someone question? Yes. Um, do you have any kind of caching in there, or do you, do you always do I/O when I use Hive? Well, there are two kinds of boxes. We already have seen the normal boxes, which always keep the data in cache, and there are lazy boxes which only keep the keys in cache, and uh, the value is then uh, brought back from the disk when you need it. Um, I also have a question, so I learned you uh, just um, doing queries. Um, yeah. uh, currently I'm doing uh, stuff with SQLite like group by and aggregation functions. Do you plan such uh, functions uh, as well? I will try to implement it, but uh, I hope to get queries ready first. Okay. And in the future, maybe, yes. Okay. You mentioned uh, benchmarks against the right yeah. and, and others. Um, could you just uh, give an idea about, because we are now not looking at those okay, benchmarks, right. uh, Wait, uh, uh, sure or you. just a few words on that? Um, in most situations, uh, I have multiple magnitudes faster than SQLite, for example. SQLite goes over the bridge, right? Yeah, That's but the there is also uh, an implementation with FFI, uh, beta implementation, and it still can compete. It's faster, but mm -hmm. still nothing near high. These benchmarks with how, how many records are they? Uh, uh, a thousand records. A thousand records. Okay. And, and if you put a million records in there? A million will be <laughs> much for both SQLite and Hive, but well, I didn't try it, to be honest. I just just wonder where where the uh, advantage may get uh, a little bit short. I wonder too, especially if you look at the shared preference uh, white bright performance. It's really bad, and I didn't even think it was that bad, but um, apparently it's just slow. Uh, would you always advise to use it in production, or is there some risk involved? Well, well no. Um, if you have heavy, heavy, heavily uh, related data, like uh, many relations, um, SQLite will be the better fit because you can do joins and aggregations, uh, like he said. And Hive currently doesn't support that, and joins will be hard to implement even in the future. And I think I read that it supports web and desktop yes, as well. Yes. So, um, and the others you don't show it, right? Well, no, um, there is no SQLite uh, on the web, so it don't, doesn't support it.
chat perhaps currently uh, also not, but I think uh, Google will implement that in the future using e index EP or you can also find a web demo uh, right on this repository page. Is it, what about uh, thread safety? Is it thread safe? Well, since um, Flutter apps mm -hmm. don't have threads, uh, it isn't and it doesn't need to be. Right. Just uh, you maintaining the project? Or? Yes. But you're <laughs> I'm happy if you would help. <laughs> and it's uh, three months old, so if you have a big app in production, maybe you want to wait a few more months. <laughs> Could you scroll back up? Yeah. All the way to the top. <laughs> no, a bit more. Yeah, thank oh, you. Oh, 416. Wow, nice. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs>